everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. We're here to break down tonight's NBA slate. What's happening, Tom? You know, nine games tonight. I think it's shaping up to be another wild night, just like we had last night in the NBA. Last night was crazy. There's another huge slate here. So let's take advantage. Let's do that right at the beginning at point guard where the Dallas Mavericks are in a high-paced game against the New Orleans Pelicans who are playing on the second night of a back-to-back. KP should be in there, but it doesn't ever stop us from getting Luka in, too. No, of course not. Porzingis back in the lineup. You know, we see both of these players have, uh, you know, a day off here and there. But we should be seeing solid games from both of them. And Luka Doncic tonight at 10.4 is a player I really, really want to be paying up for. 238 point over under, like you said, a nice pace game. We see Luka Doncic coming with a 34% usage rate, posting 1.68 FanDuel points per minute. That is with Porzingis in in this lineup, in this current starting lineup. And we saw what the Pelicans were doing last night. It's just all offense. They don't play any defense. We want to be trusting Luka Doncic as one of those players to push towards 60 FanDuel points tonight. And we have the the Pelicans allowing 51.1 FanDuel points per game with two point guards. That's the second worst in the league. So a pace up spot, great usage rate. It's a high price tag, but it's well worth it. It's expensive to get Luka in the lineup, but because of injuries and suspensions, we're going to have the room. Luka Doncic, an obvious play all the time. Not the last of our stars we're going to get into. Up next, we move on to center. That's where Bam Adebayo resides. The Miami Heat big man in a good spot. Well, always, but why tonight? Yeah, so since the All-Star break, we've seen Adebayo have two games over 60 FanDuel points. And in the last four, with Jimmy Butler being back, we know he missed some time. We've seen Adebayo over 40 points in three of those four games. And Jimmy Butler hasn't been over 40 points in any of these recent four games. And we actually see Adebayo taking a lead when it comes to FanDuel points per minute for the team sitting at 1.25. So, you know, Jimmy Butler might be there at the end of the season. He might have these ceiling games here or there when he goes for a triple-double. But Adebayo is that consistent option for the Heat. And we want to be trusting him in this matchup against the Orlando Magic. It's not going to be the fastest pace game. It has a 217 point over under. It's not the highest total on the board. But we want to lock in the consistency with Adebayo at 8.4K tonight. Really, just one of those options you can use in all formats. Bam has been on fire as of late, and it doesn't matter what kind of game you're playing, and he should be in your lineup. So consider Bam, along with Jonas Valanciunas, two of our top big men on the slate tonight. We mentioned Luka Doncic wasn't the only superstar that's going to be in our lineups because you can get Giannis Antetokounmpo in there as well. Facing off against the Pacers, coming off a bad loss to Miami Heat just a couple of days ago. Giannis in a good spot tonight. Yeah, uh, you know, I was messing around with a little bit of lineup construction before, and, you know, it's possible to get all three of these players in the same lineup. Uh, like you said, a, a rough game for the Bucks overall, a, a rough game for Tens Kumpo, 38.5 FanDuel points in that game. Obviously doesn't cut it, but, you know, looking back to the two games he has played Indiana this year, he posted 61 and 51 FanDuel points. So it really doesn't matter too much for Tens Kumpo when it comes to pace, over-under, matchup, et cetera, et cetera. That 34% usage rate posting uh, one point, what is it, 1.73 FanDuel points per minute this season is absolutely unbelievable. We want to be seeing what we saw from him on Sunday against Charlotte when he posted, what was it, 70 FanDuel points and 41 real points. That's what we should be seeing from him tonight. Giannis needs to give you a lot of points on this slate. We think he will. He belongs in your lineup despite the price tag. It's going to be this little stars and scrubsy. Those are the stars. Cut out next. It's the scrubs. So let's get into those scrubs, the value players here tonight. And we'll begin with Brad Wanamaker. This is an easy one here in Boston because, well, no one's going to play. All right, the Celtics coming off a rough loss last night against the Nets. And like you said, we don't know who's going to play. We saw Tatum sit out last night. Kemba played last night. He will be out tonight. Uh, We saw Gordon Hayward leave last night's game early. We saw uh, Jalen Brown dealing with a hamstring injury. Like, their injuries go on and on. So we should be seeing really solid minutes from Wanamaker tonight. He played 28 minutes last night. We should be seeing, you know, probably him, uh, Green, and Marcus Smart running the 1-2 combination. And at $3,600, Wanamaker is really presenting himself to be one of the best value plays on tonight's slate. Going up against Cleveland, they are dead last in the league in FanDuel points allowed to point guards this season, sitting at 51.5. He's not going to have the highest usage rate. He's not going to be super, super productive, but he's near minimum salary in a solid matchup tonight. Absolutely. It's a solid matchup for Brad Wanamaker. He's going to get all the minutes he can handle after playing a good deal last night. He's in a good spot, so let's take advantage in Boston. We're also going to take advantage in Chicago, where Zach Levine sat out his last game, and it was Denzel Valentine getting the start and seeing some major minutes. Are we trusting the former Michigan State products? It is March, after all. 
Yeah, I, I would like to. 21 minutes in his most recent game, you know, a player that's been largely just a rotational player for the Bulls, you know, dealing with some injuries. But 21 minutes then, he should be seeing around the same tonight going up against Minnesota. They're on the second night of the back-to-back. They played the Pelicans last night. We have a 229 point over under. It's a pace up spot for the Bulls going from 15th all the way up to 5th where Minnesota sits this season. So we have a player under 4K, should be seeing over 20 you know, minutes. His production, okay, it's going to fluctuate a little bit. They have Wendell Carter coming back into the line, who's also in a good spot tonight. Otto Porter is taking some minutes and some usage away. But really, defensively, this matchup is super, super strong for Denzel Valentine. Minnesota is allowing the sixth most FanDuel points per game to small forwards, sitting at 41.1. So a cheap player, playing minutes, and a pace-up spot, high over-under game, weak defensive matchup. Another player that just checks all the boxes tonight. Denzel Valentine checking all the boxes for Tom Vecchio, playing enough minutes, doing a little bit of everything across the board. And obviously the price is right. That's the most important thing for Valentine. So consider using him as a cheap value play on this slate. One final value scrub to get to, if you will. And Tom, that takes us to DeAnthony Melton, who is worth playing tonight in Memphis uh, against the Brooklyn Nets. How come? So we have two teams in the top 10 when it comes to pace. We have a player who's $4,500. He's actually in the starting lineup now. He's listed as a point guard starting at shooting guard for Memphis. They're also dealing with a ton of injuries. We know that the Nets play fast. We know that Memphis plays fast. We have a 224 point over under. And really, since he's been in the starting lineup, he has four straight games of 21 FanDuel points or more. Um, and if you look at the usage overall on this team, we know Valanciunas, as you said, is in a good spot. We like him tonight. He takes a decent amount of shots. John Morant takes a decent amount of shots. Even Dylan Brooks is taking like a high, high volume amount of shots recently. And everyone's kind of passing on DeAnthony Melton, but the price is right. The matchup is right. Uh, the minutes are there. The production is there. He can kind of fill the stat sheet as well. So $4,500, you slot him in there, you know, you take a, maybe a share or two of uh, Wanamaker, you can spend up for Tentacumpo, spend up for Adebayo, everything you need tonight. With Brad Wanamaker, with Denzel Valentine, and DeAnthony Melton in your lineup, you can do so much more uh, overall with your lineup with Giannis and Luca together. It'll be a big time night, so enjoy it. That's going to do it for us here at the FanDuel Hurry Up. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Same to you. All right, tomorrow we're going to take a break with the XFL. Take a look at six undervalued players this fantasy baseball season with Jim Sonis. Have a great night. Enjoy all the NBA games. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.